All right, so we're going to work on repairing this hole right here. I've already cut myself a sub patch. Be sure you round the corners. That makes for much easier insertion. Otherwise, your sub patch will tend to wrinkle and buckle at the edges, and you'll just have to battle it more instead of it easily slipping in like this one. Make sure it's totally smooth around the edges. Come in with your flexible fabric glue. This is you know, what a professional uses. I would just go to Joann's or the craft store and get something flexible, flexible and soft that's designed for fabric. If you use something like super glue, you're gonna feel it and see it. So very gingerly take a tiny bit of glue using a toothpick or a large needle and work it under the existing fabric to glue the existing fabric down to the sub patch you're creating basically a new substrate, so you've got a uniform piece of fabric again. If you just glue your, your little patch to the hole, in the hole, you're, and glue it to the foam, <laughs> you will definitely see it, and it won't last very long. And I've gotten a little messy with this glue, but that's okay. And the hardest part is cutting your piece to match. You'll spend the most time doing that. You want to follow the pattern. This one's easy. It's very much of a grid shape with lines going either direction. I pirated this piece from, this is a sofa cushion. I pirated it from somewhere on the frame. I tore the sofa apart and found a piece I could steal. And then I spent several minutes before this video cutting this piece ever so delicately to fit exactly into the hole. I should probably put some more glue on that. Just a little drop on the edge. And it will be a patch job, but it will certainly be better than a, than a big ugly hole that has a tendency to travel and get bigger. So carefully tuck all the edges in. That's why it's so important to cut this exactly to fit in advance and really test it out, because once you glue it in, you want it to be done. And if you want, you can get a board or some sort of book and put some even pressure on it for a few minutes. Wait for the glue to dry and hey, that's a heck of a lot better.